Hi everyone. I'm in tonight to show you a couple of things. I have been varnishing some of my pieces in between doing my paws. And what I wanted to show you are the varnish on the little magnets that I've made. So this one, which has beautiful gloss, just checking that you can see that. Um, that one is this clear gloss spray. I got this at Bunnings. Uh, it's got durable finish, resists stains and scratches, enhances timber grain, uh, which is irrelevant, and UV resistant. Uh, it was really nice. This is uh, three, three coats of spray and really nice kind of, I didn't really focus on the sides but you can tell that there is, there is spray on the sides um, which is really nice and so I'll pop that there. And this one, you can see, is, has been done with the Liquitex High Gloss Varnish, which is really nice. You know, you just clean the piece and then using the damp sponge with a little bit of the varnish and you just wipe it over. That one has had three coats as well and I think it looks stunning. So I actually don't believe that either of them were better than the other. I think it would come down to what you had the space for. The gloss spray needed uh, lots of ventilation. It was quite stinky and yeah um, the room to spread them out and protect everything and spray whereas the Liquitex high gloss varnish uh, you didn't really need that you could sit at your table desk and just go over it sit it aside and you're right to go so but yeah, I just thought I'd show you those two because I actually got something that you can compare the two, which I actually find, apart from the smell, both as equally as nice and glossy and shiny. Now I also, because I have the high gloss varnish, I've also started varnishing some of my pieces and I chose the magnet this 8x8 which was my glorious cells um, and this it's a 20 by 30 now I've forgotten, 20 by 30 centimetre, maybe it's 30 by 40 centimetre. Uh, yeah, so this is, it's been really nice. I cleaned them up. I used some corn flour, sprinkled it over because they did have silicon in them. So I sprinkled that over, spread it around with my hands, uh, gave it, let it sit for like a minute, grabbed a microfiber cloth, brushed it all off, and then with a fresh microfiber cloth, grabbed some alcohol, which I used Digger's isopropyl alcohol, excuse my dog, sorry, chab. Um, 
Yeah, so just a small amount spritzed onto the rag and then wiped it all over. Let that sit and dry. Dry out and then I came in with the Liquitex. So high gloss varnish and my damp sponge again. And I have three coats on this. I believe that on my Okay. On my first two coats, that they were a little thin. Um, so it wasn't until I did my third coat where I put on just that little bit extra varnish that I got a much nicer, a nicer shine, a nicer coverage. Uh, yeah, so I actually feel like this one is just so beautiful um, and they're going to get one more coat so that's where I'm up to now so I thought I'd show you okay. so this is damp I did see this from another youtuber which has been absolutely fantastic uh, so this is damp you can squeeze it but it doesn't ring out okay. Put some varnish on there you can see that and I go in circles I discovered the other lady which I will find and tag her below I'll give you in the description um, she will go side to side like this for the first one, then this way for the second, and then back this way for the third. Um, I found in my last coat, I did circles, and I really liked the result from that. So I'm going to continue trialing those circles try and lift it off the ground because then it doesn't give you all those scraping noises so. one a little bit more on the sponge focus on this one I did have a full size um, sponge but I just found it was really awkward and big so I cut it in half that's perfect. No. Right. Let that set that aside and let that dry. We'll come back to that. I just got to run over the edges. And on this one, I'm just going to, it doesn't need another coat, but I don't even put extra on there. I just run it over now. And it has a beautiful coating. Alrighty. So that's what I've been up to in between my pores. I store my sponge in a plastic bag that keeps it nice and moist in between coats and, and yeah so 
Thanks for being with me. I hope you found this helpful. My first trial varnish, varnishing pieces. And we'll see how they end up. Alright guys, thanks for being with me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.